no intro on this video today just because I wanted to get right into the point. Yesterday I saw this video titled Bikers Unite GTA 5 DLC video and the description of it is over 70 biker clubs in GTA Online have come together to ask Rockstar Games to finally release DLC content to the MC community. Now even if you're not into the motorcycle club community, I still want to bring attention to this video and I will leave a link to the full six minute video in the description. Please go watch it and, and go show support on it because it is a really well made video and the guy brings up so many valid points which I am sure many of you guys will agree with. To the guy who actually made the video, hopefully you don't mind me using some clips and some pictures from it. If you do, just let me know and I'll take the video down. But ultimately, I just want to spread awareness for what you're talking about. Even though I'm a YouTuber, at the end of the day, I'm still a gamer. And I am appreciative of everything that Rockstar's done for me, inviting me to streams, promoting my stuff in their newswire, even making the game that has allowed me to almost get a million subscribers. But I feel like they aren't treating their true players, their true fan base, their hardcore fan base, I should say, with respect. Besides the MC community, there's the racing community, which, yet again, had another car that was introduced that is completely unbalanced to the other cars in its class. And not that I do much racing, but to those guys, that's super sad, because this once pretty well-balanced class is no longer balanced, and now, when you race, you have to use the Sabre Turbo Custom, or you're at a disadvantage. The same thing happened with the Sterling GT. That completely wrecks any other cards in its class. And even the Banshee and the Sultan RS, the fact that they are in the supercars class and not the sports class, it just makes no sense whatsoever. Now getting back to the MC community, I'm gonna go ahead and play a little bit of the video. And like I said, even if you're not a big MC fan, I'm willing to bet that after you see this little snippet, this DLC concept, I guess, will interest you. Dear Rockstar, Two and a half years is a long time to wait. The MC community in GTA is made up of some of your most dedicated and well-organized fans. But after all this time and 23 updates later, we've hardly anything to show for it. Military and mercenary crews have access to tons of clothing, weaponry, and vehicles, with the inclusion of last team standing, ill-gotten gains, flight school, and the heists updates. Um, no. Mafia gangster crews have also received lots of material to enjoy, thanks to the Valentine's Day updates, as well as the executives and the other criminals update. Uh, oh my good lord! Even the urban gangs now have access to a wide variety of amazing clothing, hairstyles, and vehicle options with the introduction of Benny's Customs Shop and the multiple Lowrider DLC that's still being released. Uh, ridiculous! What about the hardcore bikers in GTA? Where's the update for the true fans inspired by Johnny and the Lost? Now the guy did also make a petition which I will link in the description if you want to go sign it. And like I mentioned at the beginning, he makes a lot of valid points. The MC community, they haven't been given their share of the pie so to speak. A lot of what they're asking for is already in the game and you can see what I'm talking about if you go watch the full video like I said in the description. But the clothing, and this is something that is close to me because obviously I love making characters in GTA Online. Like I have Fashion Friday, we have like almost 80 episodes of that series and I wouldn't be still doing that if I didn't enjoy that aspect of the game. Most of these pictures which you're seeing on screen is stuff that the lost NPCs actually wear. So it's already in the game files. Leather vests opened or closed. Open leather jackets with shirts or hoodie combos more dirty style clothing or tattered jeans or chains on jeans, a variety of biker boots such as studded or shin guard boots, and actual cool looking biker helmets like the lost NPCs also wear in the game. Vehicles, apparently there's only five chopper style bikes that are in the game right now. One of them is the Sovereign, which you can't even change the color on anymore. Two of them, the Innovation and the Hexer, I think you can only change the color. And the other two, the ones that actually have decent modifications, you can't buy from my website. You have to actually go out and find them. The stuff these guys are asking for is more variety of tanks for every bike, extended and interchangeable handlebars, more variety of exhausts, taking off the lost emblems or like some of the gang emblems that are already on some of the bikes in the game, blacked out engines, more color options for tires instead of just white walls, similar stuff that the lowriders have. What they could also do if they like taking cars from GTA 4 and bringing them, 
They can bring some of the bikes from the Lost in the Dam DLC, the Diablos, the Zombie, the Revenant, the Lycan, the Nightblade. Or if they want, they can create something new. I mean, we have a ton of sports bikes in the game, but how about some chopper style bikes? Speaking of the lowriders, whether or not they would allow Bennies to customize these bikes, or if they want to make a custom bike shop somewhere else in the world, maybe up in Sandy Shores, that's what I've been saying for the long time, where you can bring all these bikes to and customize them like I just mentioned. Going back to personal customization, like of your character, they mention better beards, similar to how you see in single player with Trevor, Franklin, and Michael. Although, at this point, I don't know why we haven't gotten those, like, full beards. Instead of all these cornrow hairstyles, how about some punk and rock hairstyles? As well as a more variety of tattoos and piercings. And then the last thing they mention is to have access to bars or accessible clubhouse locations, such as Tequila La, the Mojito Inn, the Mirror Park Tavern, or the Hen House. Apparently, the only open locations for this type of stuff is the, the bar Yellow Jacks and the Strip Club. And whether or not you like MC stuff, you know, opening up different locations and having more interiors to go explore, that's something that a lot of people have been asking for for a long time. Now, I just want to say, even though I know a lot of this stuff is in the game, I'm not a coder, so I don't know how hard it would be to take the clothes from the NPCs and put them on the online character. But like I mentioned at the start of this video, when I did watch the original guy's video, even though I'm not a huge MC guy, I really did enjoy this idea. I want you guys to let me know in the comment section what you think of this, if you would like something like this, and like this video, like his video, go sign the petition, tweet anything at Rockstar, email them, do whatever you have to if you want to see this actually happen in-game. Whether you like or hate me, I just want to make GTA great again. So we're going to use that phrase since that's kind of what everybody's using again. Ma hashtag make GTA great again. That is it with the video. Go check out the original one in the description and go sign the petition if you want to. See you guys in the next one. And as always, it's your boy Saints fan. I'm out. Peace.